right. <sighs> um... Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to play this. <laughs> okay, welcome, if you're just joining. Um, I'm getting ready to play Twisted Wonderland. Um, I haven't gotten to start it yet. It was not out at midnight last night. And um, I had a bunch of stuff to do this morning, so I wasn't able to play it this morning either until now. So I'm finally starting the game. I'm very excited. So my friend made me this early present for my birthday. You might have seen it on my TikTok and on Twitter. Um, so he made me these Savannah Claw ears, <laughs> which I'm obviously going to be wearing as I play this. Um, hello, hello. Oh, am I, are these, did I put these on wrong? Oh no, that's right. Um, as I play this because it's very festive. Um, Carl also gave me something that he told me to open on camera, but I think he meant on TikTok. I just texted him to ask. I don't know. It says early gift one of three, which is concerning. I don't like things that are numbered. It gives me anxiety. But I like this wrapping paper. It has llamas on it. It's very cute. So, let's get started, right? Oh, okay. Um, sound, sound is good. Everybody can hear everything okay. I feel like I might be a little loud. I'm going to turn that down just a smidge. There might be a little bit of an echo because the the way I have to stream on the phone, it's going to come through the TV a little bit. Um, so I apologize for that. But I'm very excited. So let's get let's get to getting. Um, yeah, it looks like sound levels are good to go. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Uh, terms and conditions. Of course, it's fine. Take all my information. I don't even care. Um, <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? Um, enter your player name. Okay, so my main character is going to be my name. Um, your player name will be shown in your profile. Okay, we'll make it... We'll do easy cap for my player name. Or for my... Yeah, my player name. And then my main character is what you get called in the story. You can change both after starting the game. Please avoid offensive names. Or reveal personal information. What if I just made my my main character... Oh, I can't get my... I just need to clean up my password. What if I just made my main character name my credit card number? Thoughts? That'd be fine, right? But then with like a curse word at the end. Okay, 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 okay. Relax. I'm not used to wearing ears, so I'm like confused. Gotta date them all. Hottie man. <laughs> Hello, Capri2000. Alright, we have a name. We have a name. We're good to go. If somebody ever took my name, so help me God, I'll lose it. I feel like these are on left side, but it might just be like the way that I'm looking at the camera. That seems better. Okay. All right. Loading. Oh my God. It's also projecting onto my TV. So it's like full screen, which is really exciting. <laughs> ah, my dear esteemed benefactor, my proud, beautiful flower of evil. You are truly the fairest one of all. Oh, thanks! O oh, magic mirror, thy wisdom I entreat. Reveal unto me the visage I seek. I can't hear him. I need him to speak up. Alright, we got a cute little card. Ooh, look at this castle! Look at that horse with the little feather on it. <laughs> Horses like kill me now. <laughs> you whose image the dark mirror did beckon forth. If your heart bids it, take the hand of the one reflected in the mirror. OMG, shame, I need to wait in Europe. Oh no! Oh! He's got his hand. He's like, come here. Come hither. Oh. Oh, I just get to pick. <laughs> Is there any guess? Is there any, like, doubt? But let's just look through all of them. So we have the King of the Beasts, 
a persistent king who overcame his background to claim the throne. <laughs> I love how they make him, they make him seem so noble. Like, way to, way to, like, just not talk about the information of him, you know, like, killing his brother. Like, no, no. A, a persistent king. Like, this is like when you're going house hunting and they name the house, they, like, say, like, oh, it's quaint, which means just tiny. A benevolent witch who helped lead even the most hopeless romances to a happy ending. A mindful sorcerer who supported his kingdom by sharing words of wisdom with the Sultan. <laughs> Never mind the regicide, sweeps everything under the rug. Yeah, the fair, oh, the fairest queen. <laughs> a tenacious queen who toiled tireless, tirelessly in the pursuit of perfection. A diligent king who carried out all his duties, even the task that everyone else feared. Okay, I have to take pictures, so I'm sorry if it's going to flash a little bit, because I want to take screenshots so I can make TikToks about it later, so I will be doing that throughout the course of this live stream. Um, the Thorn Fairy, a noble fairy who employed many servants, yet still retained a proud independence. Okay. Um, am I going to take photos of them all? I'm probably going to take photos of them all. Um... Just remember that we started with Hades. OMG, it's up and running. Yes, excited. I am excited as well. A, uh, the Queen of Hearts. A strict queen who ruled over a kingdom of madness. So, we feel so bad for her. Okay, we already looked at the King of the Beasts. Sorry if it's annoying that I'm doing the screenshot thing. I just, you know, I want to make the... Oh, oh, I want to be able to make um, TikToks about... Okay, that's all of them. Okay, so obviously I want to be in Savannah Claw. As you can tell. Um, so that's who I'm going to pick. A dorm based on the King of Beasts spirit of persistence. Look at them! Oh my goodness. Oh wait, you can like click through these two? Oh, okay, let's do, let's look through these two. Okay, right, okay. Um... Do I need to take pictures of all of these? Uh, <laughs> I just don't know. Do it. All the pics. All right, you guys are have given me permission, so I'm going to do it. All right. I don't know how many of these I'll use. So Octa Vanel, uh, a dorm based on Sea Witch's Spirit of Benevolence. I uh, love the idea of being the villain of Ariel because I hate her so much, but I also don't want to... Oh, they look kind of cool. Scarabia. A dorm based on the Sorcerer Sands Spirit of Mindfulness. I like their costume design a lot. Um, Pomafiore. I've heard, like, they're hot. <laughs> I've heard, like, horror stories about this dorm, so I'm avoiding it. A dorm based on the Ferris Queen Spirit of Tenacity. Yeah, they're, they're a little too much. We don't need the blonde boys. I love them. Like, they both look so cool. Ignahide, um, a dorm based on the king of the underworld spirit of diligence. Like, the one on the, the one on the left is all the mood, and the one on the right looks like a robot. Okay. Okay, these guys are amazing. I love their costumes. I love their color design. Um, the one, the second one from the right with, like, the black hair and, like, the moody face could get it. Um, Diasomnia, Diasomnia, a dorm based on the Thorn Fairy Spirit of Nobility. We love to see it. Um, Hearts Labol, Hearts, Hearts Labule. Um, okay. Um, okay, listen. Okay, listen. Listen. All of them, except the one in the middle. I'm not really, I'm not really vibing with his fluffy cape. But this is a K-pop band. Exactly. They're a K-pop band. Nobody can tell me otherwise. I can't remember if I took a picture, so I'm going to take another one. Um, and that brings us back to Savannah Claw, which is who we're going to pick. I picked the Thorn Fairy one. Oh, yeah. the Yeah. Yeah. They're really cool. Oh, man. I... I really like this one, too. But listen, I've been Savannah Claw from day one. We're not changing it up now. Boy, you can... Um, how, oh my god, there's even more choices. Um, Leona Kingslayer, House Warden of Savannah Claw, perpetually effort-averse, his immense 
magically or magical ability contrasts with his lazy demeanor. Given his position as the second-born prince in his homeland, he treats others with an imperious attitude. Um, Jack Howell, a stern student focused on self-betterment. He's the kind of misfit who hates acting buddy-buddy with others, but still respects the pecking order. Um, Ruggy, Ruggy Bucci. I'm probably saying his name wrong. A long-suffering runt who spends most of his time cleaning up Leona's messes. Both literally and figuratively. Raised in a poor environment, he gets downright shameless when it comes to food. Do you get to... I hope you get to meet all the characters, even though you're just... You're only picking one. I'm gonna be sad if you don't get to meet all the characters. Ruggie Beauty is a cute name. Um, okay. Alright. Are you ready to take... Are you sure you're ready to take the plunge? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah, I hope you get to, like, get to know all of them and not just in your dorm. I'm sure you do, right? Oh, look at what's happening here. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, it's like Genshin where you draw slash pull characters. Oh, that's dangerous. Look at his robes. Look at his hair. What is happening, sir? Um... Okay. He's ready to go. <laughs> Whew. That was a lot. As flame reduced... Oh, I didn't read that. Uh, as ice seals away even time itself. As great trees swallow even the sky. Fear not the power of darkness. Now, demonstrate your power. Is it hot in here or what? <laughs> oh lord. Where are my pre-registration? This will download data needed to start the game. Uh yeah, we need the voice data. What do you think we're gonna we're gonna listen to all these hot men talk without their voices? Oh no. Download. A prestigious four-year arcane academy. Its doors are only open to st oh, okay. Okay, I guess, I guess we're not reading that. You can download data for the main game while you play through the tutorial. Tutorial, download while playing. We love that. We've all banded together to sweat over fictional dudes. I'm so happy and proud. <laughs> uh, sometimes the main story requires you to fight battles. Battles are turn-based fights where two sides use mag magic against each other. You get... Um, hold on, let me... Okay. You get two attacks per turn... Let's give a battle a whirl. I just got here. First, what, there's no makeout session before we fight? Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. I love that each character has, like, a, a sigil thing. Can confirm voice kink is real. <laughs> oh, look at this monster. I don't need brute strength to fight. Showdown time. Oh, it has a lot of health. Okay. 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 Um, I mean, I just... Select anybody? First... Oh, I see. Fire strong against grass. Grass strong against water. Water strong against... Okay. Um... Yeah. Rargh. Look at him. He's so cute. A little flame blast. Okay. Oh. Ma'am. Owa. Turn two. I'm just gonna do auto. Just get in there. Just, just go do it. Uh, I feel like we're not really making a dent. Ow. Zero ray. Turn three. 
feel like we're not doing great. Yeah, get him! He has a lot of health. I don't like it. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that guy's hair. I don't know the character's names yet. I will, I will eventually, don't you worry. Oh, 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 oh my god! Battle over. We suck. Defeat! I feel attacked. Literally. I feel like that was supposed to happen, though. I don't think... To me, to them, to yourself, the hour grows long, and the time is scarce. I don't think we were supposed to beat them. I think that monster was too strong for us. Keep steady your grip, no matter what may come. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. Um... Welcome to the Villain's World Prologue. <laughs> Don't worry. My grip is... <laughs> Never mind. It's <laughs> so bad. Oh, Lord. You've been expelled. <laughs> like, get out. Chapter 1. Stranger Waking. Welcome to the Villain's World. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> this is a children's game! Is it? I don't know if it's a children's game. We'll take a picture of that. Oh my god, I get to... Th okay, 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 okay. What's that noise? I better hurry up and find that uniform before someone spots me. Ugh, this lid weighs a ton. Try this on for size. Nyaha. Um... Now, to grab the goods. What? You ain't supposed to be awake. Look at that little guy. He's so cute. Um, what am I more scared about? The talking weasel or the floating coffins? Um, I'm gonna say the floating coffins. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve ignoring me, human. The name's Grim. Believe me, you won't forget it. Oh, is this like the Paimon of this game? First one, yes. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I, I'm not doing a very good job <laughs> acknowledging the chat. Uh, I'll do better from now on. I'm just so excited to be playing this game. Welcome. I'm so glad you all are here. We're playing Twisted Wonderland today. Um, thank you for hanging out with me while we while we do this. This is so fun. Um, listen, voice kings are real. Um, that cat Grim is so annoying. Oh gosh, he's cute. Now I need a. I want a stuffed animal of him. Now, give me your uniform and be quick about it. Someone what? Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Oh, my God. Um, Getting roasted alive by a weasel. What will I dream next? Well, keep dreaming, because I ain't no weasel. Oh, I'm, like, running away. Is that what's happening? library um where am i foolish human did you really think you could slip away from me now unless you want to get burned to a crisp take off that meow that hurt what get... why is this cat trying to get my clothes off i'm concerned consider it tough love oh look how oh, hello sir is that a mirror on his head Ah, I found you at last. Splendid. I trust you're one of this year's new students. My, were you ever eager to make your debut? And bringing a poorly trained familiar with you? That is a clever, a clear violation of the school's rules. As if I'd serve some lowly human. Now let me go. Yes, yes. Rebellious familiars always say that. Don't be quiet for... Uh, do be quiet for a bit, won't you? <laughs> Dear me, of all the students I've dealt with, you're the first with uh, temerity enough to open their own gate and step out of it. Does the very notion of patience elude you? No matter, your orientation has already begun. Let us return to the mirror chamber. 
Student? You awakened in a room full of gates, did you not? All of the students here at the campus arrived um, by passing through such gates. Although typically the students have a, a restraint enough to wait until I open them before waking up. So those coffins are like gateways? The design is intended, intended to symbolize a parting with your former world and a rebirth into a new one. But now is not the time for such prattle. You have a student orientation to attend. Go on now, make haste! First, just tell me one thing. Where am I? Or first, just tell me one thing. Who are you? Um, oh God. Should I ask who or where? First person that says one is the one I'm going to pick. just flickered. Who? There it is. Who are you? Hmm. Have you not fully regained consciousness? The time-space teleportation must have addled your memories. Well, these things happen, I suppose. I shall explain it to you while we walk. Truly, my magnanim magnanimity... <laughs> magnanimity is boundless. God. I'm a wreck today. Um, I can't say words. Courtyard. Ahem. This is Knight Raven College. It is an institution for students the world over who demonstrate a rare aptitude for magic. It is the most prestigious academy of its sort in all of Twisted Wonderland. And I am dire Crowley, having been entrusted with its care by the chairman. I serve as head mage. Um, magic? Only those who the Dark Mirror perceives as having a talent for magic are admitted to the college. Those who are selected are summoned to the campus through those gates which can appear anywhere. A black carriage bearing one such gate should have come to meet you. This is very like Mickey and the Magic Mirror. I think that's what it's called. Um, vibes. I think that's what that game is called. It's like an older game. I do kind of remember Crossy Dark Forest. I do kind of remember a horse with a scary face. I'm going to say scary face horse. That black carriage serves to receive a student chosen by the dark mirror. It too bears a gate that connects to this campus. And as you know, sending a carriage to meet someone on a special day is a time-honored tradition. A uh, time-honored tradition where? <laughs> so this carriage dragged me here against my will? Um, I'm just going to say a time out of tradition where. <laughs> now let us attend to your orientation. I didn't get an answer to my question. <laughs> They're like, no. <laughs> you don't get an answer to that question. Story cleared. I got some thumb marks. Tum marks. Um, chapter two, ser tap the list to proceed through the story. Stories that cont contain twist tunes are marked with a musical note. Okay. Ceremony breaking, welcome to the villain's world. Mirror chamber. We're done with orientation and dorm assignments? All right, student, uh, new students, let me be clear. At Hearts Labiole House, I am the law. Break the rules and it's off with your head. Yawn. Well, that ceremony was as boring as ever. I'm going back to the dorm. If you're in Savannah Claw House, follow me. New students, allow me to be the first to congratulate you on your achievement. As dorm leader of Octavanel House, I am honored to have the opportunity to support you in what I hope will be a fulfilling campus experience. Hey, does anyone know where the head mage went? He disappeared midway through the ceremony. Some head mage he is. Is that a, a tablet? <laughs> Maybe he had a tummy ache. Um, what? <laughs> I most certainly did not. <laughs> ah, speak of the devil. If you must know, I was searching for the new student who had failed to show up for orientation. You are the only one who has yet to be assigned a dorm. Step up to the dark mirror and be quick about it. I'll watch your weasel. <laughs> State your name. I'm Jason. Sup? 
The nature of your soul is unclear to me. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. Do they have iPads in Twisted Wonderland Magic World? What did you just say? I sense no magical power from this one. Soundless, colorless, shapeless, utterly vacant. That is ex that is funny because that's exactly what my dating profile says. Soundless, colorless, shapeless, utterly vac vacant. I think that um, that really sums me up, I think. So I think that's great. Oh, he'll watch my weasel, all right. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. Um, therefore, no dorm would be appropriate. Sir, I can stay in all the dorms. Um... <laughs> this is a hot mess. Are you suggesting that the black carriage went to receive a person who cannot even use magic? But that is absurd. The student selection process has not aired once in its century of existence. How could this have happened? <laughs> me! Let me have this student's seat. <laughs> Not so fast, you hyperactive weasel. Unlike that human, I can actually use magic, so let me be a student here. Look, I'll show you. My spells are the cat's meow. Everyone, get down. Help, I'm on fire over here. Someone catch that blasted animal before it sets the entire school ablaze. Ugh, can I go now, or... Oh? I thought you fancy yourself a hunter. Go and help yourself to that plump little morsel. Too much effort. Do it yourself. Allow me to handle this, head mage Crowley. Ugh, teacher's pet. Burn it all down! If none of you are up to the task of catching a small animal, I will accept the responsibility. D <laughs> Voice from the tablet. Why is there a tablet? WTG Azul. Rackin... Uh, racking up those participation credits. Hey, um, my butt's still on fire. Could someone maybe put this out? <laughs> I'm gonna have to change this stream to adults only because the jokes write themselves. <gasps> I'm gonna take a picture of that for science. Um, I'm sorry, were my instructions unclear? Pretty sure you can handle catching one mangy weasel all on your lonesome there, head mage. How many times do I gotta say it? I'm Grim, spellcaster extraordinaire. I am not a weasel. Aren't you a spunky little fellow? Riddle, would you be so kind? Furry miscreant, I will abide no rule breaking. You will be judged by my hand. It has a triforce! I didn't even see the triforce! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I am unwell. Um. Tap to the music. Oh, Jesus, God. I'm going to have to look down at my phone for this. Twist tunes are played over the chorus of the main story. Story branches. Story scene, rhythm game. Story scene 2A, story scene 2B, rhythm game. Story scene 3A, story scene 3 Oh, I see. Twist tunes have alternate story scenes and rhythm game segments. The story scenes branch based on your score. Oh, hell. Tap the screen when the notes are closer to the center of the target area. The closer the target center you tap, the higher your score will be. There is a rhythm portion of this game. Different, um, tap anywhere on the screen. Different colored notes slash bars require taps on different parts of the screen. When these are green, you can tap anywhere on the screen. Wait. So notes. So green notes you can tap anywhere on the screen. Tap and hold. We've been over regular notes. Now let's go over long notes. For long notes, tap and hold down on the note until they end. So what I'm understanding for right now, the only notes that they're giving me right now are green notes, correct? So I can tap anywhere on the screen for green notes. Is that what everybody else feels that they understand from this tutorial? I don't want to mess this up. It's my first day at school. Okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Grab that grip! <laughs> Check it. See how strong I am. Okay, I have to look down at my screen for this part. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very brazen of you to go on breaking the rules. Shall we make this quick, then? They're so cute! I'm afraid we don't have much time to spare.
This is a jam. This is like um, Guitar Hero. Wow, I didn't get any long notes. I just get these garbage little notes. Ha! Gah! <laughs> Must you really uh, relish playing with your quarry, Azul? Hey, and here I thought we were both the sort to enjoy this. Please, I'm not like you, so spare me your drivel. Eep! Oh, there's more. That was just part one, apparently. Oh, I might have to turn off autoplay for the, for the talking parts. Oops. I feel like this is going to get harder later on. Nice. Let me turn off autoplay. Yeah, it's a dead end. Poor soul, ran yourself straight into a corner. I suggest you surrender otherwise. Oh, I can't turn off autoplay. Okay, got it. No, I'm getting into this school, and that's final. Look at his little... Stand aside, Azul. He's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so dramatic. Look at his little punches. Grab that Grim. Ooh, rank SS. Um, oh, I had one good. I almost had all greats and perfects. Damn. Has anyone played Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm? It looked a lot like this. Yes, it did. You're, you're totally right. You're totally right. Story cleared. I got some gems and some thumb marks. Thumb marks. When do I get my pre-order bonuses? Oh, maybe when I get done with the prologue. A dismissive ranking. Hello, by the way, if you're joining us, we're playing Twisted Wonderland today. This is out on iPhone and Android in the US and Canada today, and it is free to download. I haven't spent a single dime on it yet. <laughs> a dismissive ranking. <sighs> oh my God, there's something in my throat. Oh my God, thank you for the follow. Um, Kitty Cat Gundam, thank you for the follow. I'm sorry I missed that. I was, I was obviously, as you can see, I was very busy, um, <clears throat> you know, performing for my fans. Um, hold on, I have to take off my sweater because it is like a thousand degrees in my apartment right now and I am dying. Ugh, it's so hot. Whew, okay. All right, okay, okay. I wore my given shirt for the first day at school because I just really wanted, I wanted all, I wanted, I didn't want there to be any doubt that I was, that I was a homo. Like, I wanted them to know. When I walked into school, I wanted to be like, you know, because like, if they're not sure, then they might not, you know, they might not ask you out because they don't want to like be, make it an awkward situation. So I made sure it was, it wasn't awkward. Like, they'll, they'll see me coming from a mile away. So it's fine. Um, <clears throat> got hot performing for everyone. I mean, I was dancing. I was shaking things. There was fire. Oh, Whew. <laughs> Sir, I need to look up the ages of all the characters <laughs> to figure out what is appropriate and what is not. That's important. What are you doing? The Queen of Hearts, Rule Twenty Three: One must never bring a cat to a formal affair. It's, a, it's, it's. I, I don't agree with that rule, but it's a good rule. Your very presence here is a violation of order. You will vacate these premises immediately. But I ain't a cat either. Don't you tr uh, try and collar me. I'll burn it right off. Huh? What gives? My fire ain't working. Until I deign to remove that collar, you won't be using any magic. You're not but a pet cat now. 
Hi, does it get harder later on with the rhythm games where I'm past the prologue the tutorial last until chapter... It, oh, hi, it does. I thought you were asking me if it does, and I was like, well, I don't know, because I'm not there yet. It does get harder later with the rhythm game. Oh, God. Okay. Um... Mia, yeah, what? <laughs> I know he's pet nothing. I'm gonna start saying what like that. If people say something to me and I, and I want to be like surprised, be like, Mia, yeah, what? Oh my god, I put these on totally sideways. Like, can I get my life together, please? Okay, cool. I look like a fool. That's better. Oh, oh my god, there's like something stuck in my throat. Um. <clears throat> oh, you've nothing to worry about there. I certainly have no interest in having you as a pet. The collar will disappear once you're removed from campus. Haha, <laughs> -ha. good show as always, Riddle. Your signature spell locks uh, down any magic. It's quite handy. I've just got to have it. Ah, I mean, I've just got to have respect for it. <laughs> okay, that was an interesting slip. Let's look up. Let's find, let's, as we're doing this, let me pull up my laptop and we'll like learn about the characters as we go. And we'll make sure that we're not thirsting over, you know. You know, you know what, you know what anime games you gotta be, and anime in general, you gotta be, we gotta be age appropriate in our thirsting, so let's, let's make sure we're, we're being good children, um, or good adults, I mean, <laughs> what, um, okay, so this is Azul, <clears throat> um, see, like, Azul has freaking gr gray hair, and he's 17 years old! See, that's why we check. Um, Jason, was I not clear that you are expected to take responsibility for your familiar? <laughs> now, discipline your... What's that? It isn't yours? I have never seen that creature before in my life. Oh, is that so? Ahem. Then I shall have it expelled from campus. I shall even spare it from being served as dinner. My, but I am kind. Someone take this away, please. No, let me go! You fools better remember my name. Because I'm going to go down as an anime fan in their 30s. Checking official character bios is nothing but suffering. Because <laughs> I'm going to go down in the annals of magic history. Just you wait. Yeah, but you know, if I'm going to stream this game, I think I think it's good to be, you know. You know. You know. Um, I wonder why he was so desperate to stay here. Well, that was quite the unexpected fracas. I hereby declare that orientation has concluded. House wardens, please escort your students back to the dorms. Hmm? Come to think of it, I don't see House Wardens Draconia of House um, of House Diosomnia anywhere. And that surprises you? Dude's a total recluse. Wait a sec. Did anyone even invite him? If you're that worried about him missing out, maybe you should have told him yourself. Maybe, but I don't know him too well either. Draconia. Like, Malleus Draconia? That Draconia? So it's true. He really does go to school here. Yikes. Ooh, who is this person? He's got a story. Ah, just as I had expected. I figured uh, maybe someone transformed a person from the school into a cat. That's my working theory this early on. Oh, interesting. Um, I figured I'd come down and see for myself whether Malleus had made an appearance. But once again, he was evidently not informed that his presence was required at an official ceremony. You have my sincerest apologies. I assure you, this oversight was in no way intended as a snub. I mean, you must admit, he's not exactly the easiest person to strike up a conversation with. Okay, so we'll just look up characters as we meet them. So Riddle, I'm sure, I'm sure he's under... Yeah, he's also 17. So I feel like a lot of the characters are probably going to be 17. So we're going to we're going to be uh more careful in our <laughs> in what we say. Um No matter all who are assigned to House Diosomnia follow me. I just hope he doesn't sulk about this. I don't just because I'm 40 and 2 weeks I'll be 41. Well, Jason, this must be uh <coughs> This is the most unfortunate turn of events. I mean, Crowley has to be, like, older, right? I don't think there's even an age for Dyer Crowley. <clears throat> yeah, there's no age for Dyer Crowley. But he's, like, the adult in this situation, so... I'm afraid that you will not be attending Night Raven College after all. Surely you realize that I cannot very well admit a student with no magical ability to my academy. 
But worry not, the dark mirror will see you safely home. Now, step into a gate and visualize the place from whence you came. Um... Phew. Oh, dark mirror, return the soul to where it belongs. Ahem. Let us, sir, try this again. Oh, dark mirror, return this soul. There is no such place. What? There is no place in this world where this soul belongs. That also checks out. Um, <laughs> I feel very seen by this game. None. How can that be? My, but today is a veritable cavalcade of impossible phenomena. <laughs> this has never happened throughout my long tenure. I must confess that I am at something of a loss. Tell me, from what land do you hail? Sure, I'm from... I'm afraid I'm not familiar with such a place. He's like, what is in Orlando? <laughs> I am in, uh, intimately acquainted with the origins of every student who has ever come here, and yet this mysterious homeland of yours eludes me. <laughs> For a game about Disney, he uh, doesn't know where Di he doesn't know of the place where Disney World is. Hmm. Let us go to the library and look it up, shall we? Yeah, it'll be in the alligator section. Story cleared. I got some thumb marks. Recollection blanking. You said it's eight chapters for the prologue? I <laughs> five. Excuse me. Recollection blanking. Welcome to the villain's world. Library. Just as I suspected, nothing. Not only is your homeland not, li not listed on any map from any point in history. Now, are you quite sure that you came from such a place? That wasn't some sort of lie or jape? Because if so, the only explanation is that you've come from another planet. Or perhaps you were summoned here from another dimension? Um... <clears throat> the voice of the headmaster is familiar. We'll have to look it up at some point. Um, show me everything that you brought here with you. Let's look up the. Let's see. I wonder if Dyer Crowley, Twist of Wonderland, voice actor. Uh, Mitsura Miyamoto, who also voiced. Let's see. Probably something. Uh, Excuse me. He was in... Bungo Stray Dogs. The Misfit of Demon Academy. Um, like, a lot of little things. Like, he was in Naruto. He played Akohoshi. Um, and he was in Inuyasha. Yeah, nothing, like, super recent, I feel like. Uh, he played a character... Oh, he played, um, the villain in, um, the Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man in 2018, the, the PlayStation 5 game. PlayStation 4 game. He also played Simba in Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> Random. Um, Yeah. Show me everything that you brought here with you. Do you have some form of identification? A driver's license, perhaps? Or even a, a shoe? You do seem a tad bit empty-handed. Well. <laughs> Come to think of it, uh, where's my wallet and my phone? Uh, yeah, I've lost, I've lost my phone. Well, this is quite the predicament. I cannot have someone with no aptitude for magic bumbling about my magic academy. And yet, as an educator, I am loath to expel a young person without a cent to their name or any ability to contact their guardian. Truly, my grace is boundless. Hmm. Ah. There is a vacant building on this campus. It was, in fact, used as a dorm a long time ago. With a proper cleaning, it should be habitable enough. Out of the profound kindness of my heart, I will allow you to live there for the time being. In the meantime, we will investigate other ways to send you home. Dear me, but I am a gracious man indeed. A model educator, one might say. Yep, chapter 8 for the tutorial and prologue is 20 chapters. Oof! 
Well then, I shall take you to your dorm straight away. It is an older building, but it has plenty of uh, character, one might say. Story cleared. Oh, that was quick. I wonder if I can, like, actually design my dorm. I really like stuff where you can, like, design, like, a space or a house. Oh, this has a music puzzle to it. Here we go. Here, go live in this abandoned building. There's no heat, and no one will check on you. Okay, bye. <laughs> a perplexing puzzle. Ramshackle dorm. I mean, th that place does not look habitable. Uh, sir, this is not gonna work. Um... <laughs> this is too much character, if you ask me. <laughs> Isn't it delightful? Right, scoot inside now. There you go. Sir, this is the scene of a murder. Oh, no. This is not going to work for me. This should keep the elements at bay for the time being. Now, I should return to my research. Do try to find some way to busy yourself, but don't let me catch you wandering the campus. Ta. Sir. Um, it's like a desolate snowscape, only with dust. I don't even see a clean place to sit. Looks like it started to rain. Why am I back outside? Oh, I'm not. I'm still in here. Yeah, it's pouring out there. What? I'm wandering off that. I'm wandering off that. Wahaha, that look on your face is priceless, like a bat that got blasted by a water gun. As if I wouldn't just sneak back onto campus and second, uh, the second I escaped prying eyes, you all got no idea what I'm capable of. I ain't given up on going here just because I got kicked out one measly old time. And if you think otherwise, you don't know Grim. <laughs> Guards. Guards! <laughs> I'm gonna say, why are you so determined to go to school? I need, I need answers. Isn't it obvious? I was born to do this. I'm a magical prodigy who's got the makings to become one of the greatest mages who ever lived. So I've been waiting and waiting for that black carriage to come for me. And yet, oh, his little sad eyes. That dark mirror's got no eye for talent. That's why I took the initiative and came here myself. You humans don't understand what a mistake you're making. Not letting me in this great, uh, is a great loss to this world. <laughs> Come on, scoot over. I'm getting gripped on here. Wah, another hole in the roof. These flaming ears are like my trademark, you know? I can't let them get doused. Good luck, the ceiling's filled with holes. I guess I'll look for some buckets. Hello, anime lover, welcome to the stream. Oh, my light just went out. Hold on. I need to get a new ring light because this one is having a crisis. Okay. Um, I don't know why you don't just magic those holes away. You could have it fixed in half a gif. Ah, right. You can't use magic at all. Pff, man, you're useless. Then why don't you do it, you little jerk? You want me to help you? Ha, you've got the wrong idea. I'm just a stranger taking shelter from the rain. You ain't the boss of me. If you had some cans of tuna to trade, well, that'd be another story, but I don't work for free. Um, yikes, the leaks are really getting bad. Oh, my god, this place is horrifying. I don't want to live here. This place really freaks me out. Oh, gee, the cat is like a kid. Oh, my god! <laughs> I looked down at the chat, and then I saw the ghost in the corner of my eyes, and I was like, ah! Um, the cat is like a kid that never got their Hogwarts letter. Yeah, for real. <laughs> we haven't had visitors in ages. Oh, I'm just itching for new friends. That sounds like a problem. Oh, okay. What? Why? Why does the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man live here? I have questions. Uh, oh my gosh, thank you for the follow, Faith158. Thank you so much. Um, g -g ghosts Hey, keep it down over... <laughs> All the people who used to live here got scared of us and ran away. We just want a new ghost to play with. What do you say, buddy? Um, they're gonna kill me. Shiver, eat. I'm a master sorcerer. I ain't afraid of any dumb ghosts. 
No, uh, not even close. Um, over here, over here. All right, they keep disappearing and reappearing. Um, you're gonna set the whole dorm ablaze. Shut up! I don't need any lip from you, human. Maybe the head mage will let you enroll if you get rid of them. Beat them. Um, okay, yeah. Let's try that one. They could not look less menacing. They look like snowmen. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I'm Grim, master sorcerer. How come I can't even hit one of these little... Oh my god. <clears throat> Ganging up on us? You're a bunch of cowards! Um... Maybe I can help? You, human. You tell me which way the ghosts are. Um, you got it. It burns! Got one. Keep it up. Just like that. And let's clear out the whole lot of them. Oh, this is how we're gonna... This is the musical part, I guess. You'll encounter many different types of twist tunes. I'm gonna go back and take a picture of this. I should have taken a picture of the ghost, but I forgot. Tap anywhere on the screen, left half of the screen. Tap anywhere on the screen, right half of the screen. So blue, you have to go left half. Red, you have to go right half. When the notes and bars are red and blue, tap the left and... Okay, yeah, 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 got it. Some notes appear in pairs at the same time. Tap simultaneously. For simul notes, tap the left and right. Okay. Oh, God, this sounds, this sounds like a lot. All right, okay, okay, focus, focus. Pew, pew, mew, mew, meow, meow. Okay. <laughs> Mystic by County Mile. All right, here we go. You got to be more clear with your directions. I can't hear you. <clears throat> Secret talk? I want in. Come on. Whoa. Look at his little fire breath. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh. I need them perfects. Now that's more like it. I knew I was a total whiz with magic. The gri uh, Great Grim can handle more than a few ghosts without some human help. Oh no. <clears throat> human, you gotta tell me if you see a ghost about, ready to spook me. Last part got a little tricky. <clears throat> nice, that actually worked. Hey human, what should I do next? Give him the works. Oh, look at his little punchy, little punchy paws. Yay! SS. I didn't get any goods. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Got some, we still don't know what those are used for yet, which is fine. A move in struggle. Does anybody know when you get the pre-order bonuses, like when those happen? Did I ask that already? I don't think I asked that. Welcome to the villain's world. We gotta get out of here before we get disappeared for good. Huh? Did we win? 
Um, that was incredible. If they don't make a push of this little guy, I'm riding. Ah, uh, jeez, I was scared out of my... I mean, they didn't phase me one bit. Just a walk in the park for a mage of my caliber. What do you got to say to now, ghosties? That's right. Good evening. In another gesture of my immense kindness, I have brought to you dinner. Wait, that's the creature we ejected for causing trouble at orientation. What is it doing here? Taking care of your ghost problem, that's what. You're welcome, by the way. What is the meaning of this, Jason? Who grim? He does have plush. He does have a plush? Oh, I'll have to look it up. <clears throat> but you know, on that topic, I do seem to recall that this dorm had a mischievous ghost problem. Ah, yes. That's why it was abandoned. In fact, the ghost scared away all the students. And you're saying that you two joined forces to drive them away? Joined forces ain't exactly how I'd describe it. More like I drove them away in the human watch, and I only did it because I wanted some tuna. Wait a minute, I never got those cans of tuna you pro So I did not promise any cans of tuna. I was very careful about that. Would you two be so kind as to demonstrate your ghost eradication methods for me? One, uh, no, because I already wiped them all out. And two, no, because where's my tuna? I will play the part of the ghost. As for the tuna, you'll receive it when you defeat me. Oh, what generosity, Crowley. Now to chug this transmutation potion. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta work together with the human again? <clears throat> be your chance to enroll. <laughs> Alright, but this is the last time and I better be up to my jowls in tuna afterwards. Oh, I didn't realize this was another tune thing. He's so lumpy. Notes come from four separate directions and move towards four separate targets. Lord help us. Um, oh, this sounds like a lot. Okay, okay, focus. 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 Oh my gosh. Go on, don't be shy about striking me. I'm too much, uh, too, oh, I missed them. Okay, but you asked for it. There better be some tuna waiting for me after this. It's some about the rewards and the information. Okay, human, you tell me if you so much as blinks at it. Right. Okay. All right, good start, good start. To left. My, does that even, does that ever smart? You've impressed me. I actually have uh, up my difficulty. You really don't. Why do you get so fast all of a sudden? Can you keep up with me now? Oh my gosh. Look at these little punchy paws, they're so cute. I wonder just how many you can elude at once. Oh my gosh, so many of them. <clears throat> well, I'll be. Haha, -ha, I got every last one. Hey human, you're killing me here. You don't gotta be so rough, you know? Yay! Story cleared. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. I can't click on the menu. <laughs> I was going to check the menu to see if there's information about the rewards, but there's not. I won't let me press it yet. 
Welcome to the villain's world, the principal's rule. Ramshackle dorm hallway. Well, incredible. I've never seen anyone bend a monster to their will quite the way you have. I must confess, my educator's intuition did sense something about you after that brouhaha at orientation, Jason. I could tell you had a certain um, animal trainery beast masterish quality to you. Oh, yes. That said, I... <laughs> Um, Grim would really like to go to this school. What? A monster? Stay here? Um, what if there are more ghosts? Hmm, I suppose I cannot deny your plea. Very well. Really? Let me be clear. Under no circumstances would I admit anyone to Night Raven College who has not been selected by the Dark Mirror, especially not a monster. Nor do I intend to allow you, Jason, to freeload until you're able to return home. Hmm. Never should have got my hopes up. Now, allow me to explain. It was the dark mirror that transported you here. Therefore, this school does bear some responsibility for your well-being. So I will allow you to remain in this dorm free of charge. However, you will need to pay for your own food, clothing, and incidentals. As to how you will do so, penniless as you are, uh, yes, uh, fine plan. <laughs> Um, what exactly are you planning to make me do? <laughs> you needn't seem so alarmed. I'm simply going to ask you to do a few odd jobs around campus. From what you've done here, I can tell you know your way around a broom. So what do you say to you two working together as a janitorial team? If you agree to that, I'll make a special exception and allow you to remain on campus. I'll also allow you to use uh, the library so that you may study and research ways to return home. Oh god. <laughs> How boundlessly charitable of me. Ah, but only when your work is over, of course. What? What kind of deal is that? I want to put on one of those sweet uniforms and be a student, not sweep up people's junk. If you're not satisfied with my offer, I can arrange to have you thrown out again. All right, fine, let's do it. Um, fair enough. <clears throat> Yay, Easy Cheese, I missed you. Yeah, I've had a very busy week, so I haven't been live very much. Wonderful. Then I beseech you both to work as hard as the newest members of Night Raven College's janitorial staff. Great. So we're janitors. Perfect. <laughs> Just what I always wanted to be. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a... Like a design... Like a house design element of this game. I mean, so far it doesn't seem like there is, but I'm curious. What is that symbol? Stories that contain battles are marked with a magical pen. Steal yourself for combat. Oh, it wants me to tap the menu. Um, tap here to go to the mirror. Summon students in the mirror chamber. Here are some gems. Perform a tenfold summon and recruit some students. Standard showcase, one guaranteed SR or SRR, SSR in each tenfold summon. Recruit some students to your side. I wonder what, like, the different ranks of them are. All right, so let's do a tenfold summon. Total pay gems, free gems. You're about to spend gems to perform the following type of summon. Tutorial tenfold summon. Okay. <clears throat> you know what cute anime boys like? A man with a job. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is the summoning, like, animation. Bearer of dark powers, I call thee forth. Oh, oh, oh. I'm in the middle of painting the roses, but if you really need me, I'll help. This is pretty. Oh my god! Hello, Trey Clover! What? Okay. Oh, he's he's my SSR. Everything has to be absolutely perfect for the party. Don't worry, though. I can handle this. Idia Shroud, which is an... An R in his PE uniform. I'm so bummed out right now. What good is exercise anyway? <laughs> T 
Trey Clover in his PE uniform. So they all have different costumes. All things in moderation, as they say. Nothing good will come of overexerting yourself. Yeah, so I'm guessing rare R is rare, SR is super rare, and SSR is super, super rare. That's what I'm guessing. <clears throat> <laughs> that face. School uniform for Jamil Viper. Put your tongue away. I cannot. I was wondering what all the commotion was. There's never a dull moment around you, is there? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Lilia Van Rouge. Our clothes match. I suppose that's to be expected with a school uniform. Ace Trapola. School uniform. You've got another problem on your hands? Well, I'm not bailing you not out next time. Oh, another Jamil. This is a character we already got, but this is their PE uniform. You're calling me over personally? What do you want? I think, did I get a single Scarabia character? Kaleem al Asim. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this Hogwarts? What is going on? Oh, and his lab wear, of course. Every, everybody needs lab wear. My SSR is the head Lion King guy. Oh, I'm so jealous. Experiments are great and all. It's just too bad mine usually fail. Oh, I got two of him. Oh, it gives you, it ups their level cap. That makes sense. Another Lilia. Oh, this is a super rare in in ceremonial in his ceremonial role robes. Uh, ceremony is a long-standing point of contention. Oh, but not with me. I mean, with Malleus. The tutorial tenfold summon can be retried as many times as you like. Tap OK to accept your results and move on. You can draw only one of eight SSRs from this summon: five from Hearts Bolt and three from Savannah Claw. Oh my God. Do I want to keep, do I want to try again to see if I can get, if I can get, um, Leona, is that his name? <sighs> yeah, we should resummon, right, to see if we can get Leona. <clears throat> As my SSR. Yeah, let's resummon. Okay, we can skip that part. We can skip this part too. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What's my SSR? No. Oh, this is just a rare. FL. Okay, in a PE uniform. We didn't get FL last time. I love outfits like this. No, really, I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I like Javiel's lab wear. It's it's a lot. Brace Kasha precision. You'll never have reason to fail. Watch them give me the same SSR. Whether it's croquet or unbirthday parties, you just gotta have fun. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot. SSR. Um, never fear, I'm here. Oh, that's ortho. Okay, I probably could just skip. Who needs magic when you got me? Oh, I can't, you can't just skip through it, so. Oh, there's Ruggy Bucci in his school uniform. Secret to good health is eating. Everything will be A-OK -okay if you got food. Vil. This is probably the SR. Rook Hunt. I don't like his hat. 
Where will you whisk me off to today? Oh no. Oh no. Riddle. Um, okay, I'm kind of just like skipping through. Silver. He's cool. Um, we're gonna do the summon again, obviously, because the whole point of this is for us to get Leona. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, very... Look at his, like, wand at his belt. Everything in life. Riddle is so off-putting to me, I don't know why. Okay, let's resummon. Like, give, give me Leona. Yeah, my ears have uh, our, our Savannah Claw, so that's why we have to get Leona. Like, we can't, we're not playing around. We're not, this is not, this is not a joke. This is not, we're not playing, this... We came here for one reason and one reason only. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like his hat. He makes me uncomfortable. I don't like his hat. Wow, the, the Savannah Claw characters are rare. <laughs> I love his laugh outfit. It's too big for him. Oh my god. If I eat one, it doesn't do anything. It's not medicine at all. Could you imagine if you could resume or summon in Genshin? <laughs> okay. I feel attacked. You want to see my sick basketball skills? Sure. Make sure you're wearing socks because I'm going to knock them off. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Malleus. He's, the, he's rare. He's got a school uniform on. The same as every other. Trey. Oh, I like Trey's school uniform. It's cute. You want to adapt school life. It's important to cultivate the spirit of cooperation. Okay, we've already gotten him before. Vil's PE uniform. There's no such thing as too much work. Oh! You must be pretty fearless to call on me. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes! Amazing. Amazing. Sir, I never let my prey escape, but I'm in a good mood right now, so I guess I won't eat you this once. <laughs> oh my god. This game is um, a hate crime. Um, <laughs> oh, and then we uncapped him. Okay, that's fine. Malleus it is it is little lab uniform. Alright, that's it. That's a good uh that's a good roundup, I feel like. Yeah, that's fine. We're we're done. We're done. We're done. You're about to accept this summon outcome. Are you sure you want to confirm this? Yes. Oh boy, okay. Um, you will get support in story battles from students and other characters. Try picking the guest character this time. Auto team will form a team of students for you. Try using auto team for this battle. Auto form a team based on the spec specified criteria. Please review the team composition. I mean, I guess that's fine, right? I don't think it said... Yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't think there was a specific type of monster I was fighting. First day at school. 
Aren't you two, um, aren't the two of you supposed to be off cleaning the school today? I think, don't I have one character from Hades House? I think I got one character from Hades House. Five more minutes, ma. Go ahead, sleep the day away, and you might not ever have to wake up again. Just like us. The ghosts are back. Beat them up. Battles have turn limits. When a battle has five turn limit, this means the battle will end after turn five. Enemy HP gauge, victory conditions. Um, where is victory conditions? Oh, I see. Wait, deal more damage than the enemy within the turn limit. Oh, I see the 50-50 thing. I see. Reduce the enemy's HP to zero. Oh, I see. So you either have to do more damage to them than they do to you in the turn limit, or you have to reduce them to zero. Got it. Attack with spells that have elemental advantage to do extra damage. Okay. And each turn, the team that gets first attack switches. Attack order determines what info you can see on enemy moves. Each turn, the team that gets first attack switches. First strike, see enemy's first move. Second strike, see enemy's second move. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you called? Oh, they're so cute! Oh, I have auto on. That's why it's just going. Which is fine. They can automatically fight. I don't. I'm not. I'm fine with that. Wait, I have two. <laughs> I have two of him. That's a little awkward. Oops. I should have changed that. I, I didn't realize it. <laughs> Weak. Oh. Void shot. Pyong, 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 pyong. Turn three. Uh, Hopefully we beat them within five turns. Maybe Otto wasn't the best choice. <laughs> I mean, they're almost dead. We got this. No big deal. Oh, there we go. Dead. Battle over. How does it feel to lose? <clears throat> Ramshackle dorm, your room. So I hear you'll be living here from now on. Hope you like pranks as much as we do. We gotta get rid of those things for good. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Not at all. When I sprawled out on the bed, the mattress fell right through the frame. Exactly how Ramshackle is this dorm. And worse yet, we got woken up by ghosts. Um, I didn't sleep well either. Well, it's understandable you'd be anxious uh, after being pulled into such an unfamiliar place. But the world can be cruel sometimes, so suck it up and move on. Now, speaking of moving on, let us discuss your assignment for today. Okay. Your job today is to clean the campus. That said, the campus is vast, and without magic, it'd be quite a Herculean task to clean it all. Therefore, today I'll have you focus on the area spanning from the front gates to the library. Now, I do expect that you'll keep a close eye on Grimm, lest he cause another incident like yesterday. I cannot promise much. <laughs> do not fail me! You may take your lunch in the cafeteria. I eagerly await the fruits of your labor. Hmph, I ain't cleaning nothing. I'm here to study magic so I can be blasting off spells left and right, like bam, pow, foom. Uh, after we clean, we can study in the library. <laughs> to be continued. Yay, story cleared. Uh, 
Uh, you finished the tutorial, you can now head back to the home screen and continue into the main game. Mm. Came at the right time. Good. It is best to be methodical in every aspect of one's life. Oh, these are like the daily rewards. Launch celebration! It's 131 at 12. Day one. Login bonus. Okay. Information. Notices. Three-day pass. Featured showcase. Riddle is here. Pre-registration rewards. Oh, here we go. We will be sending you the following in-game rewards for achieving 50,000 pre- um, After schedule maintenance on February 28th, midnight. Any player who clears first day at school, main story prologue chapter 8 by February 28th will receive pre-registration campaign rewards. Wow, you have to wait like a whole month to get them. Once you have cleared, uh, you can claim your rewards from the gift box. We hope you enjoy, continue to enjoy D Twisted Wonderland. Um, well, may oh no, maybe you get them now. J celebration, it's almost time. Feature showcase riddle. Maintenance, updates. Let's look at this. Oh, so you can like try and summon him. Single summon once per day. One guaranteed SR plus. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so then this is just SSR showcase. And this is specifically to try and get... This other thing is specifically to try and get Riddle. Okay, got it. And now the profs are going to drain on forever. Sorry, I can't take this. Let's look at my mailbox. Oh, this was my mailbox. So is there like a gift box somewhere? Oh, wait, is this the gift box? You have no outstanding gifts to claim. Gems 15. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Um, and then what's this? Oh, can you, like, add friends on this game? And I listed here. Outgoing requests. Search. Oh, you can, like, search for friends. Well, so... Just so you guys know, my my name on here is Easy Cat. So if you guys want to add me as a friend, feel free to. Um. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Missions. Um. Okay, cool. Missions. Oh, claim. Take 30 lessons, take 50... Le oh, so these are things that give you rewards. There are also... Set a data transfer password. Set a data transfer account link. Clear main story prologue. Reach player rank 3. Reach 3 cumulative logins. Okay, so set a date transfer... So this stuff I will do when I'm not on stream, because, you know. Um, okay. Twist hands. Okay, so now should I be doing stories or lessons? In case your player rank, uh, increase your player rank by taking lessons. The cards you take uh, with you will get improvements from lessons. There are three types of lessons. Each lesson improves a different stat. Card level, vignette level, buddy level. Oh, I see. Flight helps with the vignette level. History helps with card level and alchemy. Okay. Study partner. Your um, your study partner is the main card taking the lesson. This card's stats are more likely to raise than other cards on the team. In history, magic, and select from study partner cards. Select from other cards. 
In History of Magic and Flight Lessons, you can select one study partner and four other cards to put on the team. So, like, let's look at what Daily says. In Alchemy Lessons, you can choose one study partner card and one buddy character. This will raise the selected character's buddy level. I'm just taking pictures of everything, just in case. And OMG study sessions. Um, use lessons, uh, lesson items to improve your cards more efficiently. Different items are used for different lessons. Leaping macrons. Sympathetic sugar cubes. Friendly popcorn. Okay. Okay, so these are the only two that can do this. So I guess we'll just, let's just try it, right? We'll just start. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Alchemy. Oh, uh, something smells. I don't, I'm a little confused. <laughs> I don't really know what just happened, but it seems great. Rank increased level two. Did he just say good boy? Uh, he did, yes. Okay, so that was that was daily. Let's look at this. Leona's task. Take five normal lessons with the Leona as your study partner. Trigger five special lessons during normal lessons with Leona as your study partner. Okay, so let's do history. Wait, can I do auto select? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> la la la. la. <laughs> Okay, so they're just learning. I don't know if there's I don't know if there's any like reason I shouldn't do auto for this. You aren't forgetting anything. Can't be caught failing. Main lesson complete. Leona one, enlightened ruler. Oh, what's this? You want to hear about the King of Beasts? Fine, I'll throw you a juicy tidbit. The strong rule over the weak by might and by fang, he worked to change that. The King of Beasts deposed his brother to build a better, wiser kingdom. That's why they call him an enlightened ruler without equal. Makes you think, huh? Okay. <laughs> Got something on your mind? Let's do chat. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do one more of these and then we're gonna go do something different how they're all the villains were misunderstood. Oh my god, is that Gaston? I am deceased. 
早く終われ。Please be over soon. 簡単すぎる。Don't strain yourself, human! I love how bored he is! Rank 3. Alright. You completed clear all daily missions. Reach player rank 3. Alright, so let's go back. Weekly, general. Wait, where's the daily mission that I completed? It's not here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so that's what lessons are. So let's go to stories. What are vignettes? Select a character to your character to view their vignette. Gaston is teaching us Quidditch. He learned this so he never fail and never falls from the ramparts again. <laughs> Oh my god. What is happening? Swish, swish, patooey, shoot. Gotta hurry since it's almost lights out. I think I'm good on brushing. Now to gargle, and done. Wait, Ace, that's only once. The Queen of Hearts rules number 648. One must brush one's teeth twice over after eating turkey. The House Warden even reminded us several times. Oh, quit being such a goody two shoes. It's not like he's watching us, so good night. Unfortunately for you, the Vice Warden is. Gah! Trey, I've got the worst luck. Haha, <laughs> the best luck if you ask me. I won't say a word to the House Warden as long as you do what you're supposed to. See, Trey's kind enough to let mere, uh, minor errors in judgment slide if you work to make up for it. Okay, I give. I still say it's a dumb rule, but I'll brush him. I'll brush before you two start, though, open your mouths and let me have a look. So, oh, oops. Um, is there no way that's one of the rules? Haha, <laughs> sorry. Force of habit from back home. It was my job to make sure my younger siblings really brushed their teeth. Gotcha, sure. I can believe that. So you're an older brother, Trey? Yeah, I've got a little brother and sister. No wonder you have such a knack for looking after everyone. Thinking back, you've always had a kind older brother thing going on. You're always calmly watching over us. I can't even imagine you getting angry. Is that what I'm like? What? You never notice? Even Riddle, uh, Riddle Me Fits, even Riddle Me Fits leans on you. He just calls your name and you're right there to fix the problem. He doesn't even have to tell you what it is. You're practically superhuman. Ah, uh, now you're just trying to butter me up. But that won't get uh, you out of brushing your teeth again. There goes that plan. That wasn't my plan. Oh, but I see the bristles on your brushes are looking a little worn. How about I give you both my spares? Really? Thank you. Stuff like this is what I meant when I said you reminded me of an older brother. Ah, uh, yeah, I see it now. I'm sure I'll notice myself doing it all the time now that you've pointed it out. Just how many spares do you have? Did you rob a dentist? Oh, these aren't spares. I use a different brush for different parts of my mouth. On purpose? There's a regular brush, but there's also a bunch of little brushes with funny shapes. Each one has a specific use. One for your whole mouth, one for the back, stuff like that. The fan-shaped one is for scraping your tongue. And I use floss after I'm done, of course. It's just like you not to skimp on the details. That's wild. All of that for just brushing your teeth? Teeth can't heal themselves once they've gone back, so I say you, never, uh, you can never be too vigilant. Though maybe I'm just more conscious of that fact than most since I grew up in a patisserie. Proper dental care was drilled into me from day one. Thankfully, it's paid off. I get a clean bill of health every time I visit the dentist. I'm impressed. Me, I hate going to the dentist. Then I'll teach you some better brushing habits. Maybe they'll help you avoid that drill. Or even thinking about it makes my teeth hurt. Are you really going, uh, going along with this? We're not kids. At least, I don't need to be taught squat. Age is irrelevant when it comes to brushing teeth. 
With how often our dorms hold tea parties with sweets, I'd argue that getting the fundamentals down now is more important than ever. My preschool teacher babied me less than you. Would this be the correct angle for holding the toothbrush? <laughs> so this is really happening, huh? If you hold it like that, you won't get between your teeth and gums. A 45 degree angle is best. Like this? Now you've got it, be sure to hold it at right angle when brushing the front. Yep, this is really happening. Get to it, Ace! Yes, Mom! Huh? Where'd my toothpaste go? You're welcome to use mine. This is an entire scene just about them brushing their teeth. Cool, thanks. Stop right there. That is entirely too much paste. What? The abrasives inside toothpaste can damage your enamel. You only need a smidgen of it to get the job done. Oh, thanks. Ah, that's too much force, Deuce. You're liable to cause damage if you keep that up. Use gentle, quick strokes. No need for a vice grip on the brush either. Hold it with the same force you would a pen. It's good you're taking it seriously. Brush it off now and you won't have any, tra any teeth left to brush later. Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. I agree. It's finally over. At first, I thought you were just looking out for us the way you always do, but now, you're just some kind of weird dentistry nerd. I'm honestly freaked out by how into this you are. Okay, one final check. Open your mouth so I, oops, did it again. Huh? What? Sorry again, like I said, force of habit. Tooth fairy, meet your natural born enemy. Tell me about it. What? What? Well, I got something for that, so that's great. So we have three we can do so far. I guess we'll get all the vin- oh wait. Story unlock condition, vignette level one or higher. Oh, I can't do those. Can I do this one? Oh, I wonder why I can't do these ones. I mean, I did his. Interesting. There's also apparently chats you can do, but you have to unlock these as well. Okay. Well, let's do me. Let's do another main story then. All right. So, meeting a freshman. After we finish the prologue completely, I may take a break. So I can eat lunch and, you know, all that fun stuff. Meeting a freshman. Can't do them because they're SS or SSR. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow, so this is Main Street, huh? This is incredible. I didn't get to see much of it yesterday. What's the deal with these seven statues? All their faces look pretty scary. Like, this lady here looks like she's got some uh, real anger management issues. You don't know the Queen of Hearts? Queen of Hearts? Is she some kind of big deal? She was a queen who lived in a maze-like garden of roses long, long ago. Okay, so all the villains are from, like, really long ago, apparently. I think that's kind of the first time we're figuring that out. She was a strict woman who prized order above all. She wouldn't tolerate a rose being off color or her playing card soldiers being out of step. She basically ruled over a kingdom of madness, but not one of her subjects dared to defy her. You want to know why? Because the punishment for breaking a rule was immediate decapitation. What? That is seriously messed up. Pretty cool, right? I'm a big fan. <laughs> I mean, who would bother to obey a queen that was kind all the time? Yeah, true. A leader needs to be strong. But putting that aside, who are you now? Name's Ace. I'm a first-year student here, as of today. Pleased to meet you. I'm Grim. I'm a prodigy who's planning to be, like, the greatest mage who ever lived. 
that there's my far less interesting hench human. Jason, huh? Name's got an odd ring to it. Um, it's nice to meet you. So tell me, Ace, is that lion with a scar in the eye a famous ruler too? Of course. <laughs> That's the king of the beasts who ruled the savannah. But he wasn't born into the throne. He had to earn it through hard work and elaborate schemes. When he became king, he decreed that the hyenas would be pariahs no more and should live among his subjects as equals. Sounds like a great guy. Not everyone's able to look past social status like that. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Who's the lady with the octopus legs? Ma'am. The sea witch who lived in an underwater grotto. She basically devoted her life to helping troubled merfolk. If they were willing to pay the price, she'd help them change their appearance, find love, whatever. They say she was so good, there was no wish she couldn't grant. They also say the price was a tad steep, though. But she was granting wishes, of course it was. So you're saying that once I'm a great mage, getting rich off folks will be a total cinch? Oh, do the dude with, um... The big hat next. That's the sorcerer of the sands. He was an advisor to a total dolt of a sultan. He was a smart guy, really capable sort. He exposed this swindler once, some guy pretending to be a prince, in order to trick the princess. After that, he got his magic lamp and became the greatest sorcerer in the world. Then they say he used that power to become sultan himself. Wow, guess it's true that a mage needs to be an excellent judge of character. <laughs> and what about this beauty over here? She's a queen who is said to be the fairest in all the land. In fact, she used her magic mirror to check how she ranked on a daily basis. When it looked like her position was threatened, they say she'd do whatever it took to keep it. Can you imagine the level of dedication it would require to keep a record like that? Also, they say she was a master of making poisons. Jeez, she's pretty, but that sounds kind of scary. You think so? I gotta respect the hustle. For sure. Sounds like she fought hard for what she believed in and never gave up. And the one there with the flaming head? Now that guy looks scary. Does he though? That's the king of the underworld, single-handedly ruling a kingdom packed with rambunctious spirits, spirits that takes competence. He may look scary, but he was a straight shooter who worked tirelessly at a tough job he never even asked for. I mean, this is a guy who was ordering Cerberus, the Hydra, and Titans into battle for him. Hmm, that is something. To think he could have that much power and not let it go to his head. <laughs> and that last one there with the horns. That's the Thorn Fairy who lived on a mystical mountain. She was noble and elegant and a master of magic and curses, even by standards of these seven. She commanded storms, covered the kingdom with thorns. She could use magic on a massive scale. She could even turn herself into a giant dragon. Ooh, a dragon. What all monsters yearn to be. I really love that they all, that they've come up with ways that they were all like, almost like the heroes of their stories. Not like some piddling weasel. Story cleared. Um, I just want to quickly look at the menu. I wanted to look at what shop is. Is that just... Oh, look at that! It's Dr. Facilier! Um, Jumpstart Gem Shop. Let's look. Tenfold... Oh, I can look on the screen. A, ten, a bundle with a tenfold key set and some bottles of star shards. See, we don't know what keys or star shards really do yet, I feel like. A bundle with several jugs of blooming hun honey, secret smorgasbord, and thumb marks. Gem shop, tenfold key set bundle, until 120 at, oh wow, you can only buy one of those um, for 250, and it's only for today, apparently. All of these say they're only for today, so I guess they're like limited time. Oh, you can actually like buy stuff here too. A school uniform riddle, a card featuring a school uniform riddle. Oh, so you can like buy cards with your um 
with your thumb arcs. They cost 10,000 each, so I could like buy two right now if I wanted to. Um, MC's dorm outside ramshackle day. Oh, these are like backgrounds. Interesting. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so let's keep going with our story. Mutual aggression. You will go into battles with five cards. Make a team with four of your own cards plus one support. Put two characters on your team that can activate a buddy bonus to get a stat boost during battle. Uh... Wait, let's do auto team. Okay, I think it, he should be my... That, yeah, yeah, that's better. Um, it's weird that you can have two of the same person on your team. Um... I don't know. It seems kind of bizarre. I don't quite understand, but I also don't know how you can tell if characters have a bonus with another character. I don't know. Well, let's just start. Mutual aggression. Pretty cool, huh? Not like some piddling weasel. Yeah. I can't hold it back anymore. Come on, you're the ones who turned orientation to such fiasco, right? The ones summoned by the dark mirror who can't even use magic and the monster no one summoned at all? It took everything I had not to burst into laughter right in the middle of the ceremony. You don't gotta be a jerk about it. So in the end, neither of you got admitted, and now you're janitors. Ah, so lame. What, did you just call me? And you're both so clueless, you don't even know who the Great Seven are. Not one of them. Maybe before you try getting into an academy again, uh, you ought to take a second crack at kindergarten. Wow, he's about to get beat up. Okay, let's just all... Anyway, just thought I'd tease you a bit, and man, am I glad I did. It's been a blast. Unlike you, I actually have classes to get to, so I'll let you get back to picking up trash. Bye! You ain't walking away from he. It's too late for that. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. No one makes fun of Grim, Master of Fire. I'm going to make that explodey head of yours explode all over again. Explodey head? You want to throw down with me, Shorty? You got some guts. You want to talk hair, huh? I'm going to shave you like a toy poodle. Oh. Oh, how do you like that? His magic winds are blowing my fireballs off course. No fair. What's going on over here? A fight? Look at these, like, random students with no eyes. Um, let's all take this down a notch. Can't hit him with your little fireballs? You better believe I'm about to. Apparently we're not taking it down a notch. Apparently we've opted to not take it down a notch. Each card has two spells. Select spells from specific characters together to activate more powerful duo magic. Oh, I see. Okay. Duo magic can be activated with any of the corresponding characters' cards. Okay. okay. I mean, I still have it on auto, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> I just turned up the speed a little bit of the battle. 
I feel like I'm getting like so many notifications right now. What's going on? You thought you could beat me? Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. Take that. All it takes is a little gust to. Ha! What just happened? Oh no, now the Queen of Hearts statue looks like it's been flame broiled. That's your fault for trying to divert it. You should have just let it burn you to a crisp. When their right mind would ever do that. What is going on here? Cease this at once. Oh, no, the head mage. Not more lashings of love. We gotta get out of here. And I'm still sore from yesterday, too. As if the likes of you could ever flee from me. Did I not just warn you? No more incidents? And now you've charred one of my statues. It's almost as though you want to be expelled. No, forgive me. And you, you were specifically told to keep Grimm under control. Um, I tried to stop him, but... This will not do. And you, state your name and grade. Ace, Trapola, freshman. Then listen well, Trapola. You too, Grim. As punishment for today's infractions, you are hereby ordered to wash a hundred windows. That's what you get for making fun of me. This is all your fault. I have to do it too. Of course you do. You'll meet in the cafeteria after class. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Ugh, I just can't catch a break. Right. Cafeteria. How many chapters did you guys say we had to do to get through the prologue? Was it 11 or 12? Somebody said earlier. I think it might have been Kitty, Kitty Cat Gundam. I can't remember. Window scrubbing. Welcome to the villain's world. Cafeteria. I'm already exhausted from a full day of cleaning. I can't believe we still gotta wash a hundred windows. Twenty chapters! Okay. Um, I kinda wanna finish the prologue before I stop streaming, before I take a break, but that's a lot of chapters. Uh, we just gotta suck it up and do it. Try learning from the experience. What's bugging me is Ace ain't even here yet to make us wait after what he did. And now he's super late. I bet he up and bailed on us. That's possible. Ain't no way am I doing this punishment for him. Come on, I don't care if we gotta drag him kicking and screaming. He's washing those windows. Ace, get over here. Try to hide from me, will ya? Maybe there's really no one here. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'm here. The painting just stopped. Yes, and is a talking painting really such an oddity at this school? The lady in the portrait on the wall talks too, as is the gentleman in the portrait on this one. As long as a painting has a mouth, why wouldn't it be able to talk? Is that really so strange? In fact, paint yes, paintings don't usually talk. Well, your usual and my usual clearly differ. Shall we agree to disagree on the matter? Now, you seem to be searching for someone. We're looking for this guy called Ace. He's got messy hair and a heart drawn on his face. Oh, I know the one. A new student, I believe. Today was his first day at school. I think he went back to his dorm a while ago. So it's true. He's trying to ditch us. Do you know which way he went? The door to the dorms in the eastern building. Let's chase after him. Story cleared. Punishment ducking. I have a question. Is anybody like really familiar with Twitch and like Twitch rules in the chat? Or like how Twitch works? 
Hall of Mirrors. Yeah, right, like I'm gonna wash 100 windows. I'm just gonna go back and... Gotcha, punk. Oh no, they saw me. Stop right there, pal. No fair getting a head start. Wait. I'm gonna write mine, whatever. Wait, see ya. No way are you getting out of this. You think I wanna wash windows? Huh? Out of my way. Hey, what gives? He's shirking his cleaning responsibilities. That's not right, but how to stop him? Like freeze his legs or bind them with a rope. Or maybe I could, hmm, no, I don't care how. Just do something, anything. Anything, anything, huh? All right, here goes anything. I summon thee, something heavy. Wow, what a pot. Look, Jason, look, that ace guy got crushed beneath a giant cauldron. It squashed him flat. That's what you get. A cauldron? I wasn't expecting that. I may have overdone it this time. Ow. What are you bothering me for? You guys could have just banged out the work for yourself. There's no banging out a hundred windows. Headmage's order. You heard the man. You have to wash a hundred windows as punishment. What the heck did you do? I was just screwing with that furball a little. Okay, and the statue of the Queen of Hearts got a teenty bit charred. Sue me. You damaged a statue of the Great Seven? No wonder he flew off the handle at you. After you managed to get into this school, how could you get in trouble on the very first day? Oh, shut up. Who are you anyway? My name is Deuce. Deuce Spade. Don't you remember your own classmates? Uh, you don't remember my name either, do you? That's not the point. You shouldn't try to shirk an order from the head mage. Yeah, yeah, a message received. Fine, let's bang out the windows already. <laughs> huh? The furball, he's gone. I'll let you two handle the rest. See ya, suckers. You caught me so you could run away yourself? Hey, you there, uh, Juice. My name isn't Juice, it's Deuce with a D. This is partially your responsibility. You know, so uh, help me catch that little furball. How is this my responsibility? Grim's useless janitor friend can't use magic. That means this is up to you and me. Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta focus. Two rows of notes will move from um, right to left. Green notes can be tapped anywhere on the screen. Okay, got it. You better stop right there, furball. Make me exploding hair. Explodey hair. <laughs> then a game of cat and mouse it is. Follow me, juice. <laughs> I love that he calls him juice. <laughs> How hard is it going for you going to be for you to get my name right? Oh my god. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is easier than whatever they had me doing before. One more push and we've got this in the bag. Could you not steal my shtick? Step off. Or you could just stay out of my way. Oh my god, these two. I like that all the, the hearts characters are kind of named after like numbers a little bit. And, and like card numbers. I think that's great. Great detail. Nice. I do much better when I'm not trying to talk and do that at the same time. <laughs> Don't forget, you gotta wash all 100 windows by yourself. Match the timing of your magic with mine, deuce. Huh? 
Or even listening, that was way too soon. Lucky me, time to make a break for it. Oh no. Well, I'll ask my question anyway, and then maybe see if anybody in the chat knows. So I know that with Twitch, you can't stream on other platforms when you're streaming, but like, can I take this recording from Twitch and put it on YouTube? Or does it stay on Twitch? Or it can only be on Twitch. I don't know if anybody in the chat knows the answer to that question. All right, you completed prologue chapter 12. I've seen others do that. Yeah, I just need to make sure it's not like a violation of contract. I don't want to get banned for doing something like that. That would be bad. I think you are allowed, but well, I don't know. I just don't want to get in trouble. An urgent deadline. Yes, you can. Okay, cool. I just have to figure out how to do that, like how to export the video. I feel like maybe there's a way to export the video to YouTube, like in Twitch, but I could be wrong. I've never done that before. Uh, stop jumping around like that. Catch me if you can. No fair climbing onto the chandelier, you coward. I haven't really learned flight magic yet. What could I summon to hold on to him? Hmm. Oh, that's it. Did you come up with some... Oh, hey, stop. What are you doing? What are you pointing your pen at me? Because I'm going to launch you. No way does this end well. Are you kidding me? Well, ah, put me down. Seriously, do not launch me. Abort, abort. Just make sure to grab him tight. I've got him in my sights, and go! <laughs> oh my god, this is a hot mess. Uh, the chandelier! <laughs> I cannot believe you just did that. Oh right, I probably should have come up with a way to soften your landing after you caught him. You complete and total moron. We got grim, but we broke the chandelier. If the headmage finds out about this... If I find out about what, dear ace? Uh, headmage Crowley. You three again. What have you done this time? Everything's spinning. Burning a statue wasn't enough for you? Now you've destroyed a chandelier? Enough. All of you are expelled. Oh, bad. Headmage, please, give me a second chance. I can't get expelled from this school. I need to be here. Then blame yourself for your own foolish behavior. I'll pay for the damages, however much it costs. That chandelier is no mere fixture. It is a magical chandelier. Its candles are powered by a magical energy source, enchanted so that they will burn for eternity. It was created for us by a legendary artificer, possibly their finest creation. It has been here since the school was established, and I imagined it would be here forevermore. Consider its historical value. I would estimate its worth, uh, worth to be no less than a billion thaumarks, and you intend to repay that sum? A, a billion thaumarks? But I'm sure with your magical talent, sir, you could snap your fingers and fix it right up. Even magic has its limits. Furthermore, its mage stone, the figurative heart of any magical artifact, is cracked. A mage stone cannot easily be replaced. I fear the candles of this majestic chandelier will never burn again. This is bad. What am I going to do? How am I going to tell my mother? Ah, but there may be one way. One tiny sliver of a chance to repair this chandelier. There is? The mage stone that powered this chandelier was mined from the dwarves' mine. If you can acquire a mage stone with the same properties, it may be possible to repair it. Then I'll go find a mage stone. With your permission, sir. I should caution you that I cannot promise there yet remain mage stones to find. The mines were closed quite some time ago. It is quite likely that all of the mage stones have already been mined. I will do anything to avoid expulsion, sir. Very well then, I will suspend your expulsion for a single night, but if you fail to return with a mage stone by morning, then all of you are expelled. I understand, sir. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Fine then, let's hurry down there, find a mage stone, and get with this whole thing done. You should be able to reach the dwarf's mine instantly by using one of the gates in the mirror chamber. Yes, sir. What? Where am I? Uh, you may end up wishing you'd remained unconscious.
Man, how did I end up in this mess? I swear, I have the worst luck. We don't have time to complain. Let's go. Dark Mirror, take us to the dwarves' mine. Oh. Fancy. Um, oh shoot, there was something I wanted to check really quick. Um, home screen, let's change this. Um, oh, okay, that's home screen settings. Oh, those are the only settings we can change here? Oh, interesting. What about this? Oh, here we go. Settings. Fast dialogue adjustment, groovy art display. Um, oh, I see. These are where the. This is where all this stuff is. Okay, I understand. Um, do we don't have enough to try and pull for Riddle Rose Hearts, right? Oh, we need 300 to do a tenfold. Um, I don't know that I care that much about Riddle, though, <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, okay, let's do... Let's continue doing stories. Let's see if we can finish this, uh, this prologue. Um, I'm just seeing... Yeah, it's just so weird that it says that I have it, but then I can't... Then I can't do it. Vignette level one or higher. How do I increase my vignette level? Do we know? These are small vignettes about the students you'll meet in Twisted Wonderland. Each card contains a different story. Vignettes are unlocked in two ends. Obtaining a card, meeting cards, vignette level requirement. Uh, cards come in three rarities. Um, the higher the card's level cap will be. You can also spend Thalmark to purchase our rarity cards. A card's vignette level is raised via vignette experience earned from lessons and vignette level upgrading. Raising this level is how you unlock vignettes. A card's max vignette level and the number of vignette chapters it has are based on the card's rarity. Okay. I don't know if that really answered my question. <laughs> Let's do another lesson. to history. I still don't quite know how these work either. Oh my gosh! Keyblade to my heart, thank you for the follow. I'm so sorry I missed that. I didn't see it pop up on my screen. 22 minutes ago. Well, thank you for being here. I hope you're still here. I like how Leona just like does not want to be there. And these help like improve rank, right? I don't know what all, I don't really know what those items do yet. Oh, we opened up a, a thing. You hear about that time the sea witch grew huge and sank a ship with a whirlpool? We learned that one as kids, but man, that story never ceases to delight. 
The Merkids love playing pretend and acting it out. I used to do it all the time. Alright. Let's head back to the story. So I assume when they add content to this game, they're just going to add, like, more story. Does that seem right? To the Dwarf's Mine. Dwarf's Mine, Silent Woods. So this is the Dwarf's Mine. Long ago, this mine was flush with mage, mage stones. Who knows what lurks in there now? Look, I can see a house. Let's see what the people here there have to say. Dwarf Cottage. Hello, is anyone home? Must be empty. It looks like it's been abandoned. Wow, I got a spider web in my face. Look how tiny these desks and chairs are. Do children live here? One, two, seven. It's like a clown car in here. And the mine was flourishing. This house must have been a lively place. Well, this isn't getting us anywhere. If we're going to find a mage stone, it'll be inside the mine. Let's head inside and take a look. You want to go inside there? It's pitch black. Wait, are you scared of the dark? Pathetic. Yeah, I'm not scared of anything. I'm taking the lead. You all follow me. Huh? Hold up. What now? There's something there. Oh gosh, more of these ghosts. Do make yourselves at home. You can stay forever. <laughs> Two rows of notes will move from left to right. Tap the screen, tap the ha uh, left half for blue, and the right half for red. Right half for red, left half for blue. Right half for red, left half for blue. Left half blue, right half red. Okay, I feel like this is going to be hard because they're coming from... Okay, okay. Left half for blue, right half for red? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Give it a rest, scaredy cat. Ghosts are about the last thing we need right now. Let's give those ghosts the slip and run for it. Follow my lead. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I need to look down at my phone to do this because it's like, there's like the slightest delay. These ghosts are really not that scary. <laughs> They're still hot on our tails. My magic's not doing a thing to them either. Maybe your magic ain't as impressive as you think. Oh, and yours is so much better. <laughs> I'm about, um, I'm out, but you guys feel free to keep flapping your mouths all you want. All right, wait up. Oh my God. Oof, I didn't get a, I didn't get an SS that time. Something about them both coming from the same side and it was different speed from them running in the background was a lot. We didn't lose them after all. Shh, something's over there. Oof. Only an S rank. I'm gonna have to work to get an SS for that.
I gotta be honest, as a Disney fan, I'm I'm actually really enjoying the story. Like, I really like this kind of take on villains and the fact that it's like kind of an anime style story. I mean, and I feel like, you know, there's a lot of characters, but I like that we're kind of slowly getting to know them one at a time through through the way the story's presented. Um, yeah, I'm like quite quite enjoying this game so far. Um, oh, I see. I can pick these support cards, which are like other people's, other people's characters. There's a lot more to the game than I thought, but in the best way possible, it's very chill too. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, I'll pick another player's character. Level 30? Oh my god, what? Sure, let's see what happens. Frantic dashing. More ghosts, they're floating around here too. If we stop to fight, we'll never get anywhere. Let's just keep moving. Sure, but don't act like we voted you team leader. The only reason we're here in the first place is because of that stupid stunt you pulled. Oh, I'm pretty sure this all started because you tried to shirk your window cleaning punishment. So we're bringing up ancient history now? That if you want to get down to brass tacks, this all started when Furball torched that statue. Maybe you shouldn't have made fun of me then. Guys, we're in real hot water, remember? If we don't come back with a mage stone by morning, we're all being expelled. Yeah, which is why we don't need you ordering the rest of us around. It gets old real fast. All of you calm down. Oh, that sounds scary. Where's that coming from? Oh, sounds like it's getting closer. Oh, that thing is scary. I don't like the noise. <laughs> that thing is, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's scary. What is that? No one said there'd be monsters. Let's get out of here. That thing's super creepy, but didn't it just say something about stones? Wait, what? Oh, look at his face. Ooh, I don't like how it sounds. Well, it sounds... Oh, I don't like it. So there are still mage stones here. Even as a master sorcerer, I don't think I can take that thing down. But we need a mage stone or we'll get expelled. I'm going in. Are you out of your mind? Can't do it alone. I won't be expelled no matter what. There are two types. Uh, there are other types of battles besides five turn battles. Unlimited turn battles, five turn battles, five turn endurance battles. Survive for the turn limit or reduce enemy HP to zero. Five turn endurance battle. Okay. So you have to survive for two rounds. Roar, <laughs> Oof. Oof, big oof. Oof, oof. Yeah, get my get that level thirty in there. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oof. Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Just keep living. Don't die. Keep up the good work. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yikes. Yeah, get him, Riddle. All right, all right, all right. We got this. Yes. I have returned for the lunch break. For me, lunch break. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a lunch break um, and, and do some editing for my book um, after I finish the prologue. Send a request to this player. Sure.
Uh, story cleared. Alright. Egos clashing. Welcome to the villain's world. Oh my god, really? We're still dealing with this awful thing? I thought we beat it. Ah, oh, crap. He's got Lucy Ducey on the ropes. Not on my watch. Morg. Stay away from me. It's not like nothing's even hurting it. Did you just see that sparkle? Behind the monster, there's something sparkling in the mine shaft. Could that have been a mage stone? No, give you stone. We need to book it, and fast. That thing's gonna pound us into tuna paste. Oh my god, this thing is so scary. Dwarf's mine, Silent Woods. This should be far enough, I think. What was that thing? No one said there'd be anything like that. That was no normal ghost, that's for sure. Let's just give up and go home. I'll happily take the expulsion if it means never having to fight that thing again. What? No, not happening. I'd rather die than get expelled from Night Raven. How can you give up when the stone is right there? Big talk from someone who's not even half the mage I am. You want that stone so bad? Go get it yourself. I'm out. Fine, I'll go back to your coop, you big chicken. Who are you calling chicken, huh? Whoa, Deuce, is it just me or did you, like, turn into a totally different person just now? <sighs> Sorry, I lost my cool for a second. Um, so now what? Can't you guys just blow that thing up with magic? Using magic at a greater scale or using different types of magic, those things require training. Yeah, that's why magic academies exist. It takes a lot of training before you can snap your fingers and turn your thoughts into magic. And the more flustered you are, the more likely you are to make mistakes. Oh, I'd assume spellcasting just came naturally. Nope, although if the magic's your specialty, you can use it more intuitively. Anyway, you need to find some way to defeat that creature and get the mage stone. Yeah, just like the time with the chandelier, right? You found some way and now here we are. We just fought that thing and it creamed us. So what exactly is your plan here, genius? Because I sure don't trust you to improvise. What? You're the one who... And they're at it again. Um, would you two knock it off? Oh. <laughs> Look at him, he's like... <laughs> Whoa, that was loud. Where'd that come from? Um, you say to yourself, we can't hurt that thing a little. But what are we going to do then? What if we all just worked together? Work together? Is that some kind of joke? You always say the lamest things with the straightest face. <laughs> Agreed. No way I could work together with him. Yeah, but getting expelled on the first day, that's pretty lame too. Maybe even lamer? Well... Uh, I did have one idea. Let's just get this over with then. All right, what's the plan? Is this plan of yours really gonna work? I'm scared. I mean, I'm a little uh, hungry. Um, really could. Let's go. Like, I really like that I'm getting to know these two characters. I hope that throughout the game we get to know the other characters as well as we're kind of getting to know these characters right now as part of this story. Like, that's kind of my my current wish for the game is that all the characters kind of get, like, their moment in the story. A united front. I wonder how many chapters are currently available for the launch. Hey, monster, I'm, uh, I'm over here. Ugh. He's coming our way. Right over here, monster. Thieves, this way too. Never give my, give stones, never. If it lands, one of those punches were toast. 
as far as the cave as we, let's lure him as far from the cave as we can. Be gone, be gone. We got him. A good distance away from the mine. We got this. One extra large gust of wind coming up. With a side of Grimm's blazing hot fire. How's that taste with my winds fan uh, fanning them? Even Grimm's feeble flames can become an inferno. What do you mean, feeble? You really don't know how to shut your mouth, do you? She's afraid of our flaming tornado. Um, now's our chance. Just stay calm, aim carefully, and pull out the biggest, heaviest thing I can think of. Get him, cauldron. Oh my god! <laughs> he just dropped a cold cauldron on him. What? <laughs> Look, that monster got smashed flat by a falling cauldron, just like Ace did. Could have done without the reminder, thanks. This has been one drag after another. Quick, while it's distracted, we need to get the mage stone. Oh my god, that thing's so gross. I hate the sound it makes. Oof. Oh. That's it. That's a mage stone. Don't touch that. Uh-oh, looks like it's nearly wriggled free. Hey, Deuce, you gotta add more weight. You mean something heavier? Uh, I summon the cauldron. And also, uh, I am another cauldron. <laughs> And a cauldron on top of that. All of the cauldrons. Great plan. I cannot even. Is that the only thing you know how to summon? Pipe down already. I'm worked up enough as it is. I see no problems here. <laughs> we got the mage stone. Now let's get out of here. Roger that. My stone! Wow. Alright, great. Look at that, we're getting so close to being done with the, um... I wonder when you get this whole errand runner thing. Like that's what these are. They're they're errand runners. We'll do this guy. Like I wonder when that unlocks in the in the game. Oh. We got the mage stone. Now let's get out of here. Roger that. And this guy's mad. And rightfully so. We have really upset him. Forest mine, silent woods. Are you kidding me? It's still coming. It pushed off all that weight. Give it back. It's too fast. It's about to catch us. Um, but we've weakened it. If we strike now, ah, oh, fine, let's just smash the thing. Try not to welch wet yourself, Deucey. Same to you, Ace. I'm gonna show you why they call me the Grim the Great. Do they, though? Oh my god, these three. These three are a lot. Victory condition, reduce enemy... Oh, this is unlimited turn battle. Reduce enemy HP to zero. Tap a character to view their card details. Tap and hold down on a spell to see info on that spell. Tap the arrow button on the... Box display, enemy info, to you, enemy team, okay. It's fine, we'll be fine. Showdown time! Yikes, that's not a great start. Oof. Yikes, maybe I shouldn't be on autoplay. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. We're doing great. Okay, that was not great. Oh, the doctors! Yeah! Burn him! Oof, ow. Oh, they work together, I see. 
Because they're in the same house. Okay, got it. The, I feel like these two didn't work as well together, but maybe that's just in my head. But, yeah, see, they don't do a combo attack. I wonder why not. Yeah! Battle over! Pant, pant. Is it over? I think we won. I think we did it. All right. Give me a victory high five. Oh my god, it's so cute. Take a picture of that. Uh, um, shared adversity sure brings people together, huh? Uh, I don't think that had anything to do with it. Yeah, spare us the cliches. There's no together here. We won because of me. This is all for me being a magical genius. You know, I hate to admit it, but we mostly won because of your plan. Aw, you guys. Yeah, if you hadn't managed to keep your cool and tell us all what to do, we never would have got this mage stone. Now I won't get expelled. And wow, is that a relief. We won because we all worked together. Yeah, yeah, lessons were learned, etc. Can we just go home already? I'm wiped. Using all that magic made me hungry. Huh? What's this? Is that part of the monster we just beat? It looks like a mage stone, but it's black as coal. I've never seen one like that before. What is this? It smells amazing. Are you insane? It must be some kind of fancy monster candy. That's, uh, that it was hiding from us. If this tastes half as good as it smells... Did you seriously just eat that? <sighs> Are you okay? That's what you get for eating trash. That was amazing. What? Rich in flavor and full-bodied, like sweet, fragrant flowers bursting into bloom on my tongue. A whole field of them, right in my mouth. Gross, monsters must have real weird tastes. You might be onto something there. Most humans don't take random stuff they find on the ground, just pop it into their mouths. Um, monsters really really will eat anything, I guess. Man, was that great. Don't worry about me. I don't got a weak stomach like you humans do. We'll see if you're so smug when you're sick later tonight. Okay, let's put us pull ourselves together. We need to get this mage stone to the head mage. Uh, sure. Story cleared. Oh, we're so close to being done with the prologue. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the villain's world. A lesson learned. Pardon, you're telling me you actually went to the dwarves' mine in search of a mage stone? Uh, yes. I didn't expect that you'd seriously do it. And never in my wildest imaginings did I think you would actually re return with a mage stone. And here I spent all evening preparing your expulsion documents. Are you serious? When we were fighting some crazy monster for you, you were expelling us? Monster? Yeah, there was a monster, all right. A big, nasty one. It nearly killed us. Could you kindly relate this story in full? Oh, look at those portraits. That's cool. Hmm. So a mysterious monster was living in the mines, and the four of you worked together to destroy it and then brought its mage stone back to me. I don't know that I'd call it working together. It was more like we just happened to share the same goal at the same time. Oh, gracious. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. That's a lot. What's this guy's deal? President of Tears in Public. At his age. All the decades I've worked at the school. The day has finally come when the students of Night Raven College have joined hands together to defeat a common foe. Oh, no. No way would I join hands with that guy. Okay, one, there was no joining of hands. Gross. And two, exactly how old are you, head mage? At this moment, I am moved beyond words. This incident has proven my hopes were justified. My doubts are laid. For you, you possess the talents of a Beastmaster. Uh... Beastmaster? 
My students have all been selected by the Dark Mirror for their exceptional talent and potential. But great talent begets great pride and big egos. Most are so self-reliant and self-centered that they never even consider cooperating with others. That could sound like that's a bad thing. But you possess no magic. Yet in spite of that, or perhaps because of it, you are able to convince those who can use magic to work together for a common goal. The everyday humdrum mundanity you possess may be exactly what Night Raven College needs. But none of those words are good things. <laughs> I am convinced that people like you are necessary for the future of this school. My educator's intuition tells me so. Trapola, Spade, I hereby revoke your pending expulsions. Furthermore, I am granting you qualifications necessary to attend school at Night Raven College. What? Um, as an actual student? Of course, this is extraordinary ki extraordinarily kind of me. However, there is one condition. Your inability to use magic is, for a mage, unacceptable. You would not be able to adequately pursue the school's curriculum. As for you, Grimm, your actions today have made it clear that you possess sufficient talent to become a mage. In light of total sum of your respective circumstances, you and Jason will share a single enrollment at Night Raven in college. I'll get to go to school as an actual student, not a janitor? Correct. However, there must be no further incidents like the one that occurred today. Are we clear? I finally... It'll be a pleasure working with you. Oh, he's cute. Accordingly, I will now present to the Grim, to Grim the Mage Stone that is issued to every student here. Mage Stone is typically attached to the magic pen that each student uses, but I suspect your paws cannot handle implements. Therefore, I have custom solution for you. Is it possible that I am, in fact, too kind? Ah, oh, sweet, I look awesome. Oh, look at this little necklace. A Mage Stone collar to be worn only by the legendary Archmage Grim. You're not listening to anything I say, are you? As you can plainly see, Grimm remains oblivious to the customs of human society. You are to keep a tight rein on Grimm and ensure there are no further incidents. Wow, that's quite a promotion from janitor to student to prefect, all in the span of a day. Oh, I see, so your dorm is just you two. And the head mage is putting you in charge of Grimm. That makes you the dorm prefect. Well, that's gotta be a night raven first, a magicless prefect. But sure, why not? Whatever works. I'll do my best. <laughs> Good luck to you, Magicless Prefect. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose that does make you a Prefect. I just so happen to have a job for you, and that title will make it all the easier to voice, er, er I mean, congratulations. <laughs> now, I have something for you. Oh, look at the Mickey ears. This is called a ghost camera. Ghost? Oh, my grandma's told me about those. Those are like super old magic items, right? I would hardly consider them super old. But in, uh, may need, it may indeed have been invented when your great or great great grandmother was a child. It's a camera enchanted with a special kind of magic. It enables the user to photograph not just the subject's physical form, but parts of their soul. Wait, that sounds uh, sketchy. They're called memories. Here's the thing, when the soul bound between photographer and uh, subject deepens, the memories captured in this magic camera's photos come jumping out. Soul bond? When the photo uh, photographer and subject grow closer, their uh, photographs grow animated like videos, and sometimes the photographs take on corporeal form and slip out. Is that not what you youths would call a wicked keen? <laughs> Almost sounds like ghost photography. Very astute, hence the name Ghost Camera. I understand it was developed as a more vivid way to capture moments in time in an age before video. As Spade observed, in days of yore, when people say memories jumped out of photos, they would get spooked and yell, Ghost. I've heard many a tale of people who were deathly scared of being photographed by such cameras. This text sounds like way more trouble than it's worth. I would like you to photograph Grimm and the other students with this camera and make a record of your campus life. Sounds like the perfect way to immortalize all my finest moments. Make especially certain to capture the mischief caused by certain students who struggle with impulse control. Keeping a photographic journal sounds far less tedious than writing me lengthy reports, wouldn't you agree? As a prefect, consider it your duty to maintain a sharp eye on your surroundings and record them. Note how generous I am being in providing a rare magical item that even someone like yourself can use. Is my kindness not beyond all reckoning? Uh, thank you, sir. The hour has grown late, so further details shall have to wait till tomorrow. You are dismissed. Return to your dorms. 
All right, to be continued. And then I think we do, we have one more story mission and then we're done with the prologue. I wonder what characters I should buy with my Thaumarks, or what I should buy with my Thaumarks. Thaumarks, Thaumarks. <gasps> I just got the app yesterday. Yay, welcome to the chat. Are you, have you played it? Are you enjoying it so far? We managed to avoid expulsion. That was a close one. Yeah, no kidding. I'm a student at Night Raven College. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm going to be the top mage on campus in no time. Enjoy eating my dust, boys. Big words for a sentient pile of lint who's literally only half a student. Still, good for you. I guess we're schoolmates now. Grim, Jason, welcome to Night Raven. Pleasure is all mine. Okay, seriously, can we quit it with that stuff? Heh, <laughs> we'll be seeing each other all the time now. We'll see what a pleasure that turns out to be. Especially you, Ace, since we're in the same dorm. Yeah, I can't say I'm jazzed to see your smug, self-important scowl every day. Better than your, than your lazy, dopey grin. Keep bawling, crybaby. I haven't forgotten how you almost wept when you uh, when he said you were expelled. Catch you later. Those seem, two seem kind of like they're made for each other. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to the dorm. Tomorrow when we wake, it won't be as janitors. Finally, finally, my glorious education as a proper Night Raven college student is about to begin. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my god, we get a full like anime intro? What? Seems like there's gonna be so much drama. Oh, but also some laughs. <clears throat> oh, and uh, okay, sure. <laughs> oh, drama. to watch this 85 more times today just so you all know oh where are they running to or running from oh i love that like each of the dorms what Oh my gosh. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> Prologue clear. Book one, The Red Rose Tyrant. Oh my gosh, I love that we get to like, yeah, that was definitely fangirl. Uh, I love that we are, I love this. I mean, it's like, it's like an interactive anime, right? Like, so cool oh my gosh i like it so much um i like this more than i thought i was gonna like this um okay i just wanted to look at i don't think i unlocked yeah i don't think i unlocked these yet did i unlock okay this is the one I, we already did right open your mouths oh yeah the yeah we already did that i think okay um let's go to the menu Oh, missions. I have stuff to claim. Um. Okay. Oh, friends. Outgoing yeah. requests. Oh, I just haven't got that. Oh, somebody sent me a request. Approve. Cool. Um, 
shop cards. Yeah, I don't know where to go to like send people out on like errand stuff, or if the game just automatically does that. I don't know how that works. Kitty cat. Okay, I'll look you up in just a sec here. Um, I wanted to see background shops. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> don't just go buying that. Um, do I have these? I have zero, so I can't use these right now. Because I don't have any of those. Card shop. So I can buy characters. You can buy characters. Are any of them limited time? I just don't know, like, which characters worth which characters are worth getting. I don't. I don't even know. I mean, I could just start from the top. Okay. Um, is this where you go? Oh, claim. Oh, and then they like it like unlocks him. I just want to see how this works. Riddle Rose Hearts. I'm the best, naturally. That should be no surprise. I received one gift. Okay. Um. Okay. What does the mirror do? Oh, is the mirror where you summon? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Standard showcase. Always available. Oh, and when you get keys, you can use keys to do single summons. I have two keys right now is rating oh thank you for rating um soul banana i wonder what do you guys think do you think the keys like you just should always use them i wonder magical keys uh the items used for summoning come in two varieties magical keys good for single summon or tenfold key set good for tenfold summons He's into a set, even if you have 10 of them. Oh, you cannot combine magical keys into a set. So I guess you should just use them, right? So should I try to get um, Riddle? Or should I try to get... Standard Showcase, always available. Okay, I should do Riddle, because he's... You're about to spend a magical key times one. To perform the, um... Okay, let's do it. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Let's see who we get. Okay, I guess we don't have to watch this whole this whole party again. We've already seen this. Oh, did we get him? That'd be crazy if we got him first thing. Put your tongue back in your mouth. I can't. I cannot with this boy. I'm wondering what the, all the commotion was. There's never a dull moment around you, is there? Yeah, we hadn't gotten Jamelia. We he, we had pulled him at one point. Um, summon again. We had pulled him at one point in one of the summons we didn't keep. All right, so now we're going to pull. We're doing one more with the keys. Oh. No, we got Deuce. But we like Deuce. We just played with Deuce for a while, so... We got his PE uniform. I'm confident in my athletic abilities. Okay, and we don't have enough to summon again. We don't have enough gems to do a tenfold summon yet, so we'll try it for that later. Um... Oh, exams? You can eventually do exams? Let's do a lesson really quick. Daily. It's a daily lesson. I thought, did I already do the daily lesson? Oh, I did it with Floyd.
Sure. Let's try. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Like, are you supposed to... Like, if I wasn't doing auto, am I supposed to interact with this? Oh, perfect. I just don't quite understand how these work, though. Oh, special lesson. Calm down, deep breaths. I'll do what I can. Good boy. Oh my God. The way he says good boy, like, please don't, sir. That's a lot. Alchemy token. Okay. Like, I wonder how worth it is. To, like, why do you pick doing the daily one over... Oh, I see. Every day is different. Oh, because these ones... This is the only way you can do alchemy. That's why. Is the daily one. The normal ones are... The normal ones, you have to pick history or flight. Deuce's task. Take five normal lessons with Deuce as a study partner. I see. I understand. I understand. Uh, oh, okay, cool. I understand. A little bit better. Special lesson. Head mage? Like, I, I wish they'd explain these a little bit better, because I feel like these are, like, the only part of the game that I'm kind of confused about. I, right now, I feel like there are, like, a lot of characters, and I haven't quite wrapped my head around all of them. So I'm I'm hoping that as the story progresses we get a little bit more information about everybody. Which I'm sure we will. You completed take three history magic lessons. Oh, level up. Oh. Say, perfect. Does your clock keep the time right? For a while, a oh, prefect. For a while now, my clock's been running a whole two days behind. I apologize to my teachers for being late to their class. They either seemed exasperated with me or gave non-committal responses. My head would have rolled by now if we were in the Queen of Hearts domain. What? No, my clock doesn't have a date display on it. Why? Wait a minute, then how would anyone know that my clock was two days off? Gah, Ace got me again, didn't he? Oh my god. So they have like a rivalry, Ace and Deuce. Oh, I see. I see. So everybody has like things they have to accomplish. We'll do this lesson really quick, and then we're gonna, and then I'll probably stop so I can take a break. <laughs> I just wanted to see Gaston teach them Quidditch again. Oh, Luke does. Well, I'm gonna spend more lesson items. Um, when their effects run out during repeated less- oh no, never mind. I don't want to do that. <laughs> He's so lazy. Hmm. 
Okay. We just unlocked a mission. Yeah, I'll have to do these ones to set data transfer and trans set data transfer account link because if I do once I do that, I'll be pretty close to being able to do a uh, reach three cumulative logins. Um. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to do some work, um, and I'm going to do, and I'm going to eat some lunch, um, but I will be streaming more of this later today. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. This was chaotically fun, um, and I can't wait to play more. Um, I am going to see if I can upload this video to YouTube as well, if I can figure out how to do that. Um, but this was like just the most fun. So thank you all for joining me and have a good rest of your day. And hopefully I see you for more Twisted Wonderland later today.